How's it going guys? Joe Church here with Northland Custom Cycles. Back with another video for you. And today I want to be talking about how to diagnose the charging system on your motorcycle. Now this video is not intended to be an all-encompassing on how to diagnose a charging system on a motorcycle. But I do want to cover a couple fast and easy techniques that I've used over the years to help me diagnose charging systems. And hopefully they can be helpful to you. So if you like the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below what you liked. And if you don't like the video, by all means, leave me a comment and let me know what you didn't like. All right, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get into diagnosing the charging system on this Sidewinder. So the first thing I like to do when diagnosing a charging system is to verify a charging issue. And I'll begin that by removing this seat here. Now that I have my battery exposed, I can see my negative terminal and my positive terminal. And I go ahead and I connect the negative end of my multimeter to the negative terminal on the battery, like so. And then I connect the positive end of my multimeter to the positive side of the battery, like so. And I turn my multimeter on to volts DC. I have my volts and they're in DC, as you can see here. And we are reading at 12.66. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the motorcycle on and I'm gonna check and see if the system is charging at the battery. <clears throat> Ensure the motorcycle's in neutral. Run switch on. On this model, choke pulled out. So now I'm down here under the motorcycle in the area where the wires come out from the stator and run down and connect here with the wires to the regulator rectifier. This is your regulator rectifier. This is the plug-in we're looking for. And this particular model has this little gray cap on here. So I'm gonna pop this off with a small flat blade screwdriver, like so. And I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a little bit of oil down here, which is not uncommon because oil will sometimes wick up from the, the stator wires. I'm going to disconnect that connector. And the first test I'm going to do is a grounded stator test. And what that entails is having the ground side of your multimeter running up the battery negative, And we're looking for continuity at the wires coming out of the stator. And if there's any continuity on any of these wires, then we know we have a grounded stator. So I'm just going to go from wire to wire in here with my test probes and check and see if we have a ground and stator, which we do not. Now using the same connector that we tested last time, I brought the negative side of my multimeter down off battery negative and I'm going to use it down here for this test. And we're, what we're looking for is an open or a shorted stator. And there is a resistance range of 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 that we're looking for. Anything lower than that, a short is indicated, and anything higher than that, an open is indicated. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that now. And the way I like to do it is I start all the way over on the left-hand side, and I pl plug one of my leads in, and then I go to the other two and take a resistance measurement there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's reading that. 0.1. So those two are good with each other. Now I got the next one reading at 0.2. So those two are good. And then I'll go to the middle one. And I'll check this one. 0.1. Point 0.1. Point so now we know we don't have an open or a shorted stator. All right, so I'm in the exact same location using the exact same plug, and we're gonna run an almost identical test 
The only difference is instead of checking for resistance, we're going to be checking for AC output of the stator. So we're going to have our multimeter to set to volts AC, so alternating current. And I'm going to start over here at the left there, and I'm going to go right to the middle one, like so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the motorcycle on, and I'm going to run it at about 2,000 RPMs, and I'm going to check the AC output. All right? And we're looking for a range of 32 to 40 volts AC on this. So let me get up and start this motorcycle. All right, so the AC voltage test checks out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and try and reconfirm a charging issue. So I'm gonna start the motorcycle and I'm gonna run it at about 2000 RPMs and I wanted to see it as close to 15 volts as possible. I got my, my uh, stator plugged back into my regulator rectifier. tests right there we know for a fact we don't have a ground stator an open stator or a shorted stator all right and we know that the magnets that are on the rotor that go around the stator are doing what they're supposed to do because our AC voltage is checked out so that leads me to believe that this regulator rectifier is a part of the problem I also think that the battery needs to be replaced on this particular bike but with these tests right here we know that this regulator rectifier isn't doing what it's supposed to do. Because if you go back to the beginning of the video, we had about 14.2 on our off idle test for this charging system. Now, after the bike got a little bit warmer and it sat for a day, we didn't even break 14 volts, which isn't enough to maintain this battery while going on the road. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. If you didn't, by all means, leave me a comment on what I could do better in my videos or what I could improve.